Hey, it's Rick from Metagamers, and hot on the heels of the new iPad release, Switch Easy has released their new line of canvas cases for the new iPad. I've got it in black, in red, and in charcoal. I'm going to show them to you up close. Let's have a look. So this is the revised Switch Easy Canvas case. It's for the iPad 2 and for the new iPad. It's going to run you about $49 and some change from the Switch Easy website. And it comes in four different colors at the time of this video. It comes in charcoal, black, red, and tan. I do not have the tan to show you today, but let's go ahead and take a look at the colors up close first. This is charcoal, and I'll say that this exterior in person, I don't know if you can catch it on camera, it does have a hint of olive to it. The polycarbonate shell, however, is definitely going to be gray, and you can see that there. On the inside, the fabric on the inside flap is a light gray. When we move along to the black case, it's all black. So you've got a black exterior here, black polycarbonate shell, and on the inside, a black interior here as well. Finally, when we take a look at the red, it's a red exterior, it's got a red polycarbonate shell, and it's got a black interior here. Now I did notice that there is uh, the potential to show a little bit of markings on the red one, uh, but those should wipe off pretty easily. So those are the colors. Let's go ahead and take a look at the features and how this works with the new iPad. So you saw the colors of the Switch Easy Canvas, and now I want to talk a little bit about the features of it and do a few comparisons for you. First off, it comes in the box that you see here, and in typical Switch Easy fashion, you get a bunch of stuff, a screen protector, some dock and headphone jack connector protectors, a microfiber cloth, and a screen squeegee to apply that screen protector. Inside of the box, it kind of comes in here, and it's also worth noting that those dock connectors are going to match the color of your case. So you can see mine are red there to match the red. Now, if I compare this to the prior model of the canvas, I want to call out a couple of things. This is the older model. It's got a crease here in the lid. It's got a latch here. And as you open this up and you look on the inside, you're going to see these rubber, uh, or I shouldn't say rubber, but polycarbonate footers that are kind of built into the case. Those things have been changed on the new canvas. So if we take a look at it, the first thing you're going to notice is that crease on the front flap is gone. First thing that raises a concern is typing angle, and I'm going to address that for you in a moment. The second thing is the latch is gone. The case is now held closed with some magnets in here and also doubles as the sleep awake feature. And unless you give this kind of a violent shake, that lid is not really going to open. So it stays closed pretty well. When you open it up, the sleep awake kicks in, so it's going to awaken your device, and it's also going to put it to sleep. Now I'm going to call this out here. I have it in red, in black, and in charcoal. Black and red, the sleep awake works for me, the charcoal does not. I've tried it, it doesn't work. So it's a defect in the case that I've got. I've submitted a case request to Switch Easy for a replacement, and uh, I have no doubt they'll take care of me there. But I'm only calling that out because I've seen some complaints from other people with charcoal who have had that issue. So if you've got it, if you're running into issues with it, leave a comment below, I'd be really curious to see. I'm going to demo the red one here for you so you can see what that looks like. Really nothing has changed. You still have your cutout for your speaker and for your dock area here, which is great. You get a nice level of protection with this case all around the corner and the edges. Everything that needs to be exposed is exposed on this case. Nice cutout for your microphone as well as your headphone jack. Now if we go ahead and I got a request to compare this to the Ubao Executive Leather case which was also one of my favorite iPad 2 cases. Let me go ahead and show you, uh, and kind of difficult to do here, but you kind of get the idea. The U-Bow is definitely thinner. It's definitely lighter. Um, and so, but you know, they're a little bit different as far as their form and their function. So I don't know if that's a fair comparison, but the U-Bow is definitely going to be lighter and it's going to be uh, a little bit uh, thinner as well. When we open this up, Again, sleep awake activates. You can see the interior is kind of this wavy design. And the way that the stands work on this, remember those footers on that other uh, canvas case I showed you? These are now kind of rubberized, so they will match the color of your case. And you still have the Velcro here and here that keeps that case uh, cinched in or 
closed or open, so to speak. And you can activate the different stand modes simply just by putting your case in the mode that you want it. So up high, you can move it down to a middle position. You can move it down here. And remember I said the typing angle was a concern. You can put this into its lowest position and give it a little bit of a push. And it actually stays pretty well in a good typing angle here. I will move the camera down for you a little bit so you can see what that looks like in just a moment here. But I do want to call out, it's a little springy right now because it's a new case. I anticipate that over time, this will break in a little bit and it will allow it to stay in those positions a little bit better. But the typing angle is not so much of a concern for me anymore. The other thing I'll mention with this is that it tends to stay pretty well in its position. There is kind of an area right in the middle that if I put it on my lap, I've noticed it slips out just a little bit. So that's something to keep in mind, uh, but it's not a huge concern for me. So let's go ahead and take a look at that typing angle at a little bit different angle so you get an idea of what I'm talking about here. So there it is. That is your typing angle. And again, if I push this down, it's got a little bit of bounce back and it's got a little bit of a springiness to it but it's not bad you know it feels comfortable and uh, definitely exists there so again i think over time it'll actually feel a little bit better as it breaks in so then one other position i want to talk about here is book mode so if we flip this flap all the way around to the back you can hold this in a book mode and it doesn't put your device to sleep it's going to add a little bit of bulkiness and i suspect you could also lay it on a table like that and it gives it a little bit of an angle uh, but that is also another position option for you. Again, this is a polycarbonate shell. The iPad basically just cinch cinches into one corner and you snap that shell all the way around it. It's not going to fall out of this shell once it's in. And then you just work an edge to take it out of the shell when you want to do that. The previous model of this case, people had complained about some cracking around the edges here. This does look like it has a little bit more give to it. Only time is going to tell on this one if the cracks will show up again in this version of the case. So I'll have to get back to you in the months ahead on that. Final thing I'll note is when you close this, sometimes if you make sure that this kind of bump here is not kind of above the case, it will not close correctly. So you can see what I mean by that. That is a uncommon thing. I've only had it happen once or twice to me. So you just want to make sure that you, when you go to close it, you kind of push it forward and it closes. I've also found that the Switch Easy tab here helps to open it. So you can open it up here or you can just kind of put your finger on the tab, open it up and close it. So at the end of the day, I'm going to give the Switch Easy canvas a four out of five. It is not a perfect case, but I would say it's definitely above average. Yes, this is one of the first cases that we've seen designed for the new iPad, and there'll certainly be more. But in my opinion, this case takes a little bit of a step back from the prior model of the canvas. We're missing some features that I would have liked to have seen, such as the bend and the front flap here that allows for a little bit easier typing position than what I showed you here. And then, of course, they've got some bugs to work out. My charcoal version, as I mentioned, the sleep awake doesn't work, and it seems to be a case for some other people as well. I'm sure they'll work through that. I'm sure they'll address those problems. Uh, but until then, I think this is a good choice, especially with your limited options that you might have right now. It does add bulk. It does add weight. So keep that in mind. And it is a little bit pricey at $49 and some change. But at least you're getting more than just the case. You do get some dock protector connectors and a screen uh, protector as well. So if you guys have questions, comments, or feedback, as always, please feel free to let me know. Otherwise, take care, everybody, and have fun.